Welcome back to our Advent devotional videos. My hope and prayer is that these have enhanced your Christmas season and in some way drawn you closer to our Lord. We've been looking at the meaning behind each of the candles in the Advent wreath, and this time we'll look at the fourth candle. This candle is traditionally known as the angel's candle, or sometimes it's called the peace candle. It recalls how the angels had announced to the shepherds that Jesus was born, that they would find him in a manger, and that God would be glorified and bring peace. That night, the heavenly host appeared in the sky and sang glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. As this candle symbolizes, it was an angel that visited the shepherds that night. The glory of God shone around them, and they heard from this angel that Jesus was born in the city of David, which was Bethlehem, as we have seen as we looked at the meaning behind the other candles. This was a miraculous event in itself. Let us continue to marvel at this incredible display of God's glory actually happened that night. And secondly, this candle reminds us that Jesus came to bring peace to those on whom God's favor rests. The peace Jesus brought did not end wars. It didn't end all of the troubles in this world. Conflict is still around us. Instead, the peace Jesus brought is reconciliation with God. We were created in His image to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. But our sin keeps us from that. We aren't able on our own to even seek after God, let alone know Him or enjoy Him. It's because God is perfectly holy and pure, and we are fallen sinners by the nature we have inherited. That night in that chilly stable, Jesus, God incarnate, was born. He grew up and he lived a sin-free life and had all the fullness of God dwelling in him, being one with God. He willingly went to the cross to endure the wrath of God on our behalf. Three days later, he rose from the dead and ascended into heaven to take his rightful place on his throne. For those that believe in him, for those who have put their trust in him, that his sacrifice completely paid the sin debt, for those that believe that Jesus is the Son of God, the Messiah, they are the ones reconciled to God and have fellowship with him through his indwelling Holy Spirit. Being reconciled to God, that's the peace that Jesus brought. Not only do we have the peace that comes from our assurance of salvation, but we also have the peace of mind knowing He is preparing a place for us right now and will come again. The psalmist writes in the 29th Psalm that the Lord gives strength to His people and the Lord blesses His people with peace. This peace, a restored fellowship with our Creator God, is a blessing from Him. And that is truly good news that brings great joy, as the angel declared. We're able to trust in God's promises. We're able to rely on Him as our rock and our Redeemer. It's because in His pure holiness, He cannot lie. We're able to call upon Him in times of need. We're able to draw on His strength in our weakness. It's because we know that nothing is impossible for God, and that can bring us peace. Paul said that the peace of God transcends all understanding. The world doesn't understand it. We don't understand it. But we experience it when we completely trust in Him. That's not easy for us to do, but we can do it through faith in the faithful one. We live in unsettled and sometimes scary times. We live in a world that often seeks revenge. We see division all around us, and it can cause our hearts to become troubled. Listen to these words of Jesus from John 14. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. And later in the 16th chapter of John's Gospel, Jesus says this, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So as we celebrate this Christmas season and we rejoice over the birth of Jesus, remember that that angel did appear and those angels did sing glory to God in highest and on earth peace on whom his favor rests. You can rest assured that God is faithful, your sins have been forgiven, and He has overcome the world. That is the peace of Christmas. Again, I hope that these devotions have been a blessing to you. If you've been blessed by this video or the other ones, please share them with others. Until next time, may the Lord richly bless you.